What is up guys, this is Kobe here, and did you guys enjoy V? Because I know I did, you know, when that era was around KMS. Um, but V is far gone, all the fit job hype is completely over, it died down months ago. But now, I decided to use this time to talk about Beyond. In this video, I'm going to be talking about 5 ways to prep for Maple Stories Beyond update, just like Fit Job, I'm going to give you a rundown of what you guys should do. And Beyond is probably going to come around sooner than you think. Um, I'm not necessarily sure the exact date that Beyond may come around, but it'll probably be in June or July, somewhere around there. We'll see what happens, we'll see what GMS does regarding Beyond, but I think it's going to be in June. But I'm going to go ahead and stop talking about that for now. And we're going to go ahead and get straight to step one. Now, this is a recycled step from the previous prep video. But once again, level up. There are brand new milestones. And I'm not just going to be talking about leveling up your character either. I'm going to also be talking about leveling up your arcane symbols. So, let's go over the milestones real quick. At level 200, once again, 5th job. But the changes are, it only takes 14 hours after the Beyond update. Also, when you job advance, you will receive 5 node stones for free. Now, for you existing characters, you can get these 5 node stones if you remember to get on within a month after the first update, I believe. Uh, you just have to talk to the... Uh, record? No, no, not the record keeper. It's one of the, it's the dude at Temple of Time who you start to fit job advancement with, and he will be giving you five node stones for free. This applies to everybody, everybody who's already for fit job and whatnot, and all that good stuff. At level 205, you get your fifth node slot, 210, sixth node slot, and Choo Choo Island, 215, seventh node slot. So if you can tell there's a pattern, you get a node slot every five levels instead of six. At level 220, you get eight, you get you get your eighth node slot, and you'll be able to enter to Leshlin. At level 225, you get your ninth node, node slot, and you'll be able to go to Arcana, the brand new area. At 230, you get your tenth, and then 11, 12, 13, 14, every five levels. At level 250, you get your fourteenth node slot. So for those level 250 already, your um, node slot gap cap increases from 11 to 15. I mean 14, oh shit. Um, now let's talk about arcane symbols. You want to try to aim for at least 360 arcane force. Now, I did make a video about how long it would take to reach this amount of arcane force. And I said it could take around a few months. But a lot of people are at, at least 360 now. So I'm going to be talking about why. Arcana is coming out. All the 360 Arcane Force areas are being removed. They're gone. Gone from the game. Except for the Road of Vanishing areas. Those just get um, changed from 360 Arcane Force to 80 Arcane Force. And they'll get the same EXP values as the pre-nerf Road of Vanishing mobs. And yes, they are nerfing the EXP and HP for all Road of Vanishing mobs to around 40% less EXP and 50% less HP. So it's overall sort of a buff for the newcomers. Who are struggling at road of vanishing as well as the arcane requirement for the mountain area is 40 and for the cave area it's 60. so they just decided to release the 80 them um, they changed the 360 arcane force areas to 80 arcane force areas for players to be able to relive the old exp at road of vanishing again but anyway for arcana you start off with the 280 arcane force area then you move on to 320 and then the last map is 360. There is no area in Arcane River that requires any more than 360 Arcane Force. And let's also talk about Dreambreaker's release. Uh, when Dreambreaker comes out, you can you know, either prep by farming for Leshlin and whatnot. Just yeah, at least get 360 Arcane Force. So be able to do the uh, decent amount of damage. I'm not sure if it will apply the full bonus in there. I'm not too sure just yet, but it should. But the symbols per day will vary on damage, which is pretty bad because i mean as a dark knight hitting 100 mils i get around six symbols per day so it does vary on how strong you are so if you're hitting like 500 mil one bill i can't necessarily tell you how much 
I uh, this is something that you'll figure out once the content itself comes out and for last but not least achieving 540 arcane force for bonus damage on everything that even includes the boss lucid that'll probably bring it bring out more reboot lucid kills and stuff like that you get the full 50 percent damage and it's just gonna be good overall and that's basically the importance of arcane symbols let's also not forget that arcana once just like leslin in gms has no dailies that's just a heads up anyways we will be moving on Ah, uh, Maple Union, the thing that everybody is talking about, everybody already knows about, but I'm gonna put it in here anyway because it might be, you might be some of the few that don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, if you want to learn some more about Union, you can go to a text guide-ish or so on Orange Mushroom, or you could have a video guide which does include a text guide in the description which leads to my explanation for the Union system. But basically, what you want to do is get your level 120 link skills to 140. 141 for dojo meals. Um, and then get your level 100 S character cards to 140. 141 for dojo meals as well. Dojo meals is basically just, you know, um, going to dojo, fighting Mano, leaving, or get as far as you can for the most points uh, if you want to make the most out of it to get honor and give it to your main or sell it in the FM slash auction house. And let's also not forget that there will be two burning events and one breakthrough event during Beyond. So if you want to wait to level up two characters during the Beyond update, then you can feel free to because there will be two burning events that should be going up to 150. And then the breakthrough event which starts at 140 to 200. Now if you don't know what the breakthrough event is, it's basically an event where you start off at level 140. Well, it starts at level 140 and you get some new items every 10 levels. There is rewards at level 175 and 185, like a new breakthrough damage skin. Um, all the links to these events and whatnot will be in the description as well. Um, all the orange mushroom updates and stuff like that, uh, you'll be able to see them for yourself. And you'll get a whole bunch of mesos, a whole bunch of maple points. It's some really, really, really nice stuff. But anyways, you can also choose to take your characters all the way to level 200 like I am and suffer from it. But... In the end, it'll be a nice little journey. Now we will be moving on. Now this is the change that has everybody in shambles. Drop rate. Now, if you've been out of the loop, KMS has had some changes to drop rate where rumor as a rumor, it works like IED, so you can't get higher than 100%, but that has not been confirmed. But it has been nerfed, so note stones and arcane symbol rates drop less frequently than they used to. So, take advantage of current drop rate. If you don't have um, drop rate gear, it's fine. You can just, you know, buy some because you should have enough time to make profit from them. But as we approach this update and whatnot, then I suggest lay low a little bit until next on says something about this. The f they might skip this over if players write enough. Or they might not even give a shit about what we think. But, either way, I mean, it doesn't really hurt to try to um, prevent this change from coming to GMS. But, just please take advantage of all the job rate that you can get to be able to farm node stones and arcane symbols. So it gets your character stronger a little faster. This is something that I really wanted to put in there. Because the rates, especially in KMS, have been just destroyed. And some people's farming experience is just not too good so farm as much as you can i know you hate it but if you wait until later you're gonna hate it even more and with all these note stones that you'll be receiving while you farm use them don't sell them use them don't sell them until you get a certain amount of note shards and i'll talk about that in a second now with the beyond update most classes get two skills. Zero with Kinesis do not get a common skill. I can't really say that Hyaro, Kana, and Beast Tamer will get a common skill as well, but we'll just see what happens for them. But this will include fifth job skill, 
in combat skill, and an optional skill called Decenate Chess. If you already have a Bishop Mule, this may not be needed. If you don't have a Bishop Mule, then you can go ahead and get this. So that's three skills. So we all know that one skill node um, costs about 140 node shards. But did you know that leveling a skill node from scratch to 25 costs 7,840 node shards? It's that's a total of like 56 skill nodes, so that's one skill node for itself, and then 55 skill nodes to upgrade it. I think you need a total of 55 or 56, I honestly forgot what it was, but you need around at least 7,700 to 7,840. So if you were to level up your Beyond 5th, your new class common skill, and decent HS to max level, you would need to have a total of 23,520 note shards. Now... Opening a node will get you on average about 12 shards per node because you will get a bunch of enhancements, you probably get some skills and some specials, but the average amount is 12 per node. So with 23,000 into the mix, you'll need almost 2,000 node stones to be fully prepared for this update. So if you don't have 2,000 node stones, then you might want to get to it. And last, but definitely not least, prep for taking advantage of events. So, the first event that I want to talk about is the Unity Ring. Most players are definitely going to benefit from this ring, especially in Reboot. This might be another best in slot Reboot ring. Um, it has the same exact stats as the Master Ring SS if you do this right. And what I mean by doing this right is you need to have 5 characters to equip this ring at the same time and each ring costs 800 coins per character. So what you gotta do before Beyond, you wanna prep five characters, preferably in the same common class line such as five adventurers, five heroes, or five resistances. You won't really have five Novas unless for some reason you have five Kaisers or five ABs or anything of that nature. Um, so you can like swap some pets around them and whatnot so it'll be easier for farming. And on all five of these characters, farm 800 Beyond boxes. 800 in every day only open 60 on each character don't go any lower don't go any higher because the cap will be 60 you'll be doing this for about 13 days so after these 13 days you will use these 800 coins to buy the unity ring and you equip them on all characters to receive its full effect five characters that you choose will have the unity ring and it will have the same exact stats as the master ring ss now the next event 50 percent off ability resets these are pretty much just recycled events coming through and whatnot but it's stuff that you do want to prepare for as well because they are indeed coming back um so if you are a normal servant player you can either do dojo on your mules to save honor for your main or sell it in the market or in reboot you can just save it for your main to be able to use it um, there's also the five times chance for the Magnificent Soul. So for those of you guys running Lucid and don't expect a Mag Soul event coming soon, although I'm not really sure if a Mag Soul event is actually coming here really, really soon or not with this 12th anniversary update, but um, I don't even know. But, you know, for those of you guys that are running Lucid, Lotus, Damien, any hard boss, you should indeed save these souls for when the Magnificent Soul event comes in the Beyond patch. And there's also the 100% chance for 5, 10, 12 Star Force Enhancing. This is especially good for Reboot players. Because, um, you know, Star Force makes up a lot of their damage since they can't really do anything but Star Force and potential their gear and whatnot. Um, just remember that this does not work on Tyrants at all. Please keep that as a friendly reminder. Um, and then there's also some extra events that are not guaranteed to come to GMS, but you guys should expect Bingo. Spiegelman's, I call it Snooze Fest Express, but it's like Nihau Desert or some shit. But it's the same as like, I don't, I don't want to say the same as Choo Choo Island Food Truck uh, BS. I did do that a little bit, but this Nihau Desert event, I did not even come to touch it. It just seems so boring and not really worth my time. Meso Dizer X is also coming back. If you don't know what that is, that is with the Meso Rangers. Um, we have the Meso Ranger skills that give you a ton of money when 
you farm and use them. There's also, yeah, there's like that full map attack, missile ranger skill, the laser, and then the um, passive that works kind of like a final attack and whatnot. There is also the Latte Trio event. Basically what this is, is that you have three different Lattes, and you pretty much grind to receive milk from the ground. For um, 20 lots, for 20 milks, you can get EXP. Um, for, yeah, you can get EXP for 20 milks. You can redeem this EXP 30 times a day. For 40 milks, you can redeem mesos, which can give you even coins that um, cost as much as 100 mil that you can um, give to an NPC. Unless for G meso works differently, you just get the mesos right away. Or you can. There's also collecting 100 milks to redeem to uh, for Beyond coins, and you can get six Beyond coins a day, and it ranges from five to seven. No, 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 it ranges from three to seven for the first five times, and for the sixth time, you'll get about ten. So that's another way to receive Beyond coins. That's an average of 35 Beyond coins per day just from the latte event alone. And yeah, let's say you get one milk. All three lattes will have one point in them, so it's not like oh, I have to finish the EXP, then move over to the meso, and then finish the meso, move over to coins, and now you can get you can claim all three of them at once. There is also the monster collection event, which is kind of weird. Um, you'll be seeing monsters that spawn in while you grind in Monster Park, in towns, of anything of that nature. You'll be able to get some really neat items from finishing this, such as, um, I'm not really sure, uh, but there should be a full list here on OrangeMushroom.net. If there isn't, I'll try my best to remember what it was. Um, and then last but not least, we have two burning events and one breakthrough event. But yeah, the Monster Collection event, as a reward, gets you chairs. So, it's like a stackable chair, like the Heroes of Maple Chairs with the six heroes, except it's like six, like, square slimes of different colors and whatnot. And, yeah, that is it. This might have been a tad bit shorter than the V update video, but there's not really as much content of Beyond as there was in V, which, you know, makes sense, because V was just the release of Fit Job in general, and it was just so big and everybody wanted it so, so much and everything um but i hope you did learn a thing or two from what i had to say i hope you know what to prep for i hope you know what you need to do to be able to get like the new skills prep for union arcane symbols you know all that good stuff and that is it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like subscribe if you haven't that is if you want to and once again I'll be bringing back some more great content to you guys later. Peace out, everybody.